Hello. Today's quick tip is looking at building a track map. Now, uh, I have uh, two laps that I identified from two sessions here. If we go into the test database, we can see I've selected uh, a couple from um, Oregon Raceway Park. One's in uh, testing, one's in qualifying. And I want to be able to get uh, an idea on the measures graph as to where I am at certain points on the track so I can identify certain pieces of information. However, in the top right hand side right here, as I click on it, the track map is grayed out. Uh, and that is because for this session, I have not built a track map. So all I need to do is to go over to map, click on new. And as I go into new, the system is going to automatically generate a lap from uh, this instance, the fastest lap that is here. Uh, I can go in down here and I can say this is Oregon Raceway Park for the AIM video and I can click on OK. Now what's going to happen is the system has broken the track down into um, sectors and you can see that uh, in that a straight uh, is identified uh, as a green area a left a right hand turn is identified as red and a left hand turn is identified as blue. You can see that here as I load up the track map now and that button now works and you can hover here and you can zoom in on the map and you can see that as we identify the information that is here, we can see that the first corner here red, which is the right hand corner matches there and so forth as we go around the track. And so there is a simple way if you want to turn off the track map again, you just click on that button but uh, interestingly now I can zoom in on different areas of the track and understand exactly where I was when a certain piece of information happened. So um, track map, very useful. Hope it's a helpful video.